didn't see you there. So we're going to get into the boxing thing now. We've got people like Hisoka's dad flexing his big guns. Forget about him. We've got people like Rated going crying to people like Ahsoka's dad. We're going to forget about him. We've even got big juice heads popping up on Twitter saying now that they're natural. Well, the fact is, mate, you cheated your way to that size. So I'll put it into simpler terms for someone like you. It's like cheating while you're in the comfort of your own home during qualifiers and then not cheating at a LAN event for the final. So using steroids to get to heavyweight and then stop taking them for a clean fight, that ain't clean. You're a dirty cheater and it says a lot about you as a person. Moving on from him, we're going to talk more now about Wagnificent. It looks like Wag might actually accept this fight. He's 200 pounds and he's 6 foot 2. It's the perfect weight. He's heavyweight. He's tall. And you know what? He looks kind of athletic, so it could be quite a good fight. But let's see how I know that Wag might accept this fight. As you can see from this tweet here from Keemstar, he says, At Wagnificent, you trying to box, bad boy Beeman? To which Wagnificent responded saying, if the payday is respectable, I'm in. Now the downside to it is that a lot of people in the comments sort of have an idea how the fight's going to go, which I believe might actually put Wagnificent off. So for anybody out there who wants to see this fight, rally your support around Wagnificent. Tell him he's going to win. You know, big him up. Feed his ego. He's a guy who runs on being the best of the best. He thinks he's awesome whilst running wall hacks and aimbots in Warzone before he got banned. And then after he got banned still. But still, listen, you need to feed this guy's ego. So any opportunity you get, feed this guy what he wants so that he steps in the ring against me. But looking at the comments that are already there, it's not so good. You know, you got straight in there, Nitro Luke DX. Money says he hasn't got the balls to accept. And he even had somebody showing support for Wag saying, you win this. To which Benjamino says, are you clapped? <laughs> it's right, Ben. Then Justin comes on saying, come on, do it, entertain me. We got Corgi Dave saying, Wagnificent gonna get his head caved in. c says, he's gonna want a lot because he definitely ain't winning that prize money. Chris GD says, that's a no then. <laughs> so the responses were quite funny, yeah? But like I said, rally your support around Wagnificent. He's gonna need it. Let this man believe that he's got the opportunity of a lifetime to beat the living shit out of one of the people who has pretty much single-handedly ruined his opportunity to change cheat his way to success and i'd like to think that that's a good thing but he probably doesn't think so dropped from an organization kicked out of tournaments not allowed to play with certain people anymore because they don't want to be known to be someone who plays with a cheater we exposed every last piece of the puzzle of magnificent cheating past so this is a great opportunity for him to get in and somehow get his revenge if he's got what it takes personally i don't think he's got what it takes but hey i'm sure a lot of you guys are going to go and show him some support now yeah if you did enjoy the video hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel guys subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're going to be continuing all of this drama in the build up to hopefully what is a misfits boxing fight between myself and magnificent until next time i'll see you later Boosh.